Lady Gaga is getting great reviews for her latest performance in the film House of Gucci, but the heirs of the Gucci family are not exactly happy about how they were portrayed. Now, the family is taking legal action against the founders of the film, even calling it an insult to the legacy on which the brand is built. The Gucci family are bringing up this lawsuit as a way of protecting the Gucci name. Although Gucci said that the film was far from accurate and that the plot portrayed his family as ignorant thugs that were insensitive to the world around them. He also attacked director Ridley Scott for not bothering bothering to consult with them about the real life events that inspired the script. Mainly, they really didn't like the fact that Patrizia Reggiani was portrayed in such a sympathetic way. Lady Gaga played Patrizia, who was dubbed by Aldo as the Black Widow because she was convicted for taking the life of her husband, Maurizio Gucci, played by Adam Driver in the movie. This is actually something that Gaga had touched on before though in an interview with British Vogue. She knew who this person was going into the film and said that she didn't want to glorify someone that could do something like that, but tried to pay respect to women throughout history who became experts at survival, which actually was another statement that the Gucci family also did not really care for. The Gucci heirs said that their problem with that is that it's not the truth. Portraying Rajani as a victim trying to survive in a male and male chauvinist corporate culture couldn't be further from the truth, a statement that the family made to Variety in regards to Lady Gaga's British Vogue interview. So it's clear that they did not have a good feeling about this film even before it was released. Despite what the Gucci family thinks though, I don't really think that Ridley Scott was trying to derive most of his script from their actual real life stories. The film is apparently based off of a book called The House of Gucci that was written by Sarah Forden in 2001. In their statement announcing that they would be taking the route of legal action if necessary, the Gucci family said, Gucci is a family that lives to honor the work of its ancestors whose memory does not deserve to be disturbed to stage a spectacle that is untrue and which does not do justice to its protagonists. The members of the Gucci family reserve the right to take action to protect the name, image and dignity of themselves and their loved ones. However, it may be more difficult for them to take legal action than they think. You see, the Gucci family doesn't even really own that name anymore, nor do they own the business. While they have the ability to use their last name in a personal capacity, the Gucci trademark rights belong almost entirely to the French luxury goods company, Caring. In 1999, they acquired 42% of the company for $3 billion. Then in 2003, they raised that stake to 67.7%, and then again in 2004, to 99.4%. So yeah, they own the name. Now sometimes people will go the angle of unauthorized exploitation of their likeness, name, and personality traits, but that would also be an issue for the Gucci family. Due to the right of publicity action, movies became known as an expressive medium. And so it's been established that the public interest in preserving such expression outweighs the private interest of individuals in the commercial value of their publicity rights. However, this all is according to US law where the film's production companies reside. I do not know if Italian law would allow them to proceed with some type of right of publicity action. Ridley Scott doesn't seem too concerned as he dismissed the criticism of his film by the Gucci family. While speaking on BBC Radio 4, he said that he just doesn't engage with that and then reiterated the crimes that the Gucci family is known for, adding that one went to jail for tax evasion so you can't be talking to him about making a profit. But for now, that's all the time that we have for today, folks. Stay classy and I'll see you on the next one.